Hello, this is Craig. I was trying to come up with a new mechanic, and I did. Um, now, one of the things I could do is create a proof of concept piece of uh, programming, but that would distract me from the programming I'm doing for a different game, so I figured instead I would just explain it. This is going to be pretty dry, or not dry, but silly, if you uh, have no interest in game mechanics. I was trying to come up with a new version of Rock, Paper, Scissors, so I did. I'm going to illustrate this using an actual, uh, you know, little game situation. I usually use Jedi Knights, so instead I will use uh, Japanese heroes. Uh, I, I think I'll go ahead and put uh, uh, a Sailor Moon character over here, and, and she'll be fighting a Power Ranger. There you go. Uh, so this is a dueling situation, just like almost all Rock, Paper, Scissors games are. Uh, and the way that the duel works is that um, there are three moves you can perform. You can perform a long-ranged attack, a switch attack, or a short-ranged attack. Um, if we were to assign these damage, then uh, that would add a lot of depth to the gameplay. So let's say that our Power Ranger is a balanced character. He does three damage at melee, three damage at range, and one damage at a switch. Our Sailor Moon character uh, will say that she's a total beast and does 5 damage in melee, 1 damage in switch, and only 2 damage at ranged. So you're still throwing rock, paper, scissors, but unlike a normal rock, paper, scissors, unlike a normal rock, paper, scissors game, there is no, um, no progression of this beats this beats this. Instead, there is a game state, and what you do is you play 3 rounds, or rather, each round takes th has 3 phases, 3 casts and you uh, try to gamble over whether or not the game state is going to be changing. Let's say that Sailor Moon and, uh, and our, uh, our, our Power Ranger are fighting at short range because Sailor Moon got the drop on the Power Ranger and the Power Ranger is sweating bullets because Sailor Moon has this incredibly powerful melee attack. So he's thinking, well, she's going to start with that melee attack, almost certainly. Um, so what am I going to do about it? Well, I probably should switch because that way we'll be at long range and I'll be able to use a long ranged attack and she won't be able to bash me because if she bashes at long range she won't do any damage, she'll just miss. Uh, so I could do it, you know, if I, could, if I bet that she's going to do it like this, then I could do it like this and this would be her smashing me at short range three times, but only the first one hits, and then it would be me switching ranges and hitting her with two long range shots, both of which would hit. So I would deal seven damage, one, three, and three, and she would only deal five damage, five here, um, which is about as good as I can hope for if we're going to start with such a, you know, such an advantage to her. But if she predicts that I'm going to do this, then what we're actually going to end up with is her predicting that I'm going to move to range, and moving back so that uh, she can smash me again. And in this case, she'll end up doing 11 damage, and uh, while I do get this shot in, she'll, she'll crush my head. So, uh, so maybe instead what I do is I play it like this, and I assume that she assumes I'm going to uh, do a switch, and instead I do a smash. And then she does her switch to switch back into melee, except for we're already at melee, so that takes her out to ranged, and uh, I, I do a smash because the smash take the, the attack happens before the range change, and then we're at range, and she does a smash which misses, and I do a ranged which which hits, and I hit with all three of mine, and she only hits with one of hers. Uh, of course, if the Sailor Moon character, if the Sailor Moon player is smart, um, he can be well. Maybe he'll do this. Maybe he'll assume that I'm assuming that he's going to be switching range, and so he won't switch range. In which case, I can just do this, and I can hit with all three of mine and he'll hit with two of his and then miss, and I'll just beat the shit out of him. Um, this sort of, of uh, Vecini sort of reasoning, uh, but you would have thought I knew that, and therefore I clearly cannot trust the cup in front of me. That sort of thing really makes for fun duels, especially when it's going to be iterative. So after this round of three phases is over, there's another round of three phases, and you can learn what sort of, of thinker your enemy is. So that's the idea in a nutshell. Uh, the idea is that instead of the rock, paper, scissors being rock beats paper, or rock beats scissors beats paper, it is instead um, negotiating range and trying to figure out which range you're at uh, with a little bit of blindness in the middle. 
you can't you can't be guaranteed what your enemy is going to do. Um, and since you've got to gamble three turns at once, trying to predict where your enemy will throw in the switches is uh, is a core part of the game. And it's made lumpy by having uh, different power levels for short and long ranged attacks. That's the idea, and I didn't want to make it into a prototype because I'm programming something else right now. <laughs>